Английскому уделял много времени, и мне всегда это было не то чтобы легко, очень интересно было. Hello, grade nine. My name is Anna, and here is the English lesson. Today we're going to have a guest in our lesson, a student. His name is Maxim. So, hello, Maxim. Hello, Anna. How are you doing? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Um, me too. Thank you very much. How was your morning today? It was nice. I already had the biology lesson. Uh, mm -hmm. It was very informative and uh, uh, it was nice. And uh, I'm looking forward for this lesson now. That's very good. Yeah. Okay. Will you also uh, say a few words about yourself? Introduce yourself <laughs> to our viewers. Uh, well, my name is Max. Uh, I'm a pilot. Uh, I fly commercial airplanes, Boeing 737. And uh, also I'm a flight instructor. I mm -hmm. teach people to fly. And uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it. That's very wonderful. Uh, can you say that your work is your hobby or your hobby has become your work? Uh, I would like to say that it was my dream and uh, my dream became my hobby. So uh, and then uh, became my uh, life goal mm -hmm. so to uh, make it my profession. So at the end, I accomplished that and very happy to do it. That's very nice. <clears throat> OK. Uh, well, actually, why have I asked you about the hobby? Because our topic is youth lifestyles, hobbies. So we're going to talk about the hobbies today. Um, actually, as we're continuing the topic, we need to uh, revise some vocabulary. So which types of hobbies do you know in general? Which ones can you name? Like, for example, I like reading. Well, uh, I enjoy reading as well, mm -hmm. and uh, usually I don't have time for uh, reading something uh, like uh, documentaries or some uh, uh, other types of literature, but because uh, I have to study a lot of uh, technical stuff mm -hmm. regarding the airplanes and uh, all the uh, regulative materials uh, for, for the flight school, etc. But uh, when I have time, especially now, uh, I do have time to read some uh, books. So uh, not much, mm -hmm. to, to be honest. Okay. <laughs> but but I'm trying. Yeah. Good. What other hobbies do you have? Or maybe just in general, which are the hobbies that you would like to take up? Uh, I'm trying to do sports when I have free time. I like uh, active rest. Mm -hmm. So uh, I spend time in the gym. Now we don't have a gym, so I'm trying to Work out uh, at home. Uh, work out at home. Mm -hmm. uh, I do run uh, outdoors as well sometimes. And uh, just do regular chin up bars uh, mm -hmm. and uh, some gym bag, etc. Cool. So, yeah. Okay, thank you very much for sharing. Yeah. Yeah. Now let's take a look at the board. <coughs> uh, here you can see the list of the most common hobbies that um, young people, not only young people, usually take up and do uh, in their life. So. Let's take a look and um, you can talk about some of the hobbies. Yeah. Something interesting, maybe something that you would like to try doing or something that you have tried in your life. So, for example, gaming or fashion, swimming, sewing, drawing. Uh, I enjoy music a lot. Mm -hmm. Everything I do, I do with music. Uh, even studying, I do with the music as well. Uh, like I said, I do a lot of reading uh, with uh, like it's uh, technical stuff or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, I do it l with listening music. Uh, I enjoy uh, sports as well. I do enjoy swimming, uh, football, running. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, okay. what else is there? Uh, I don't care. I, I don't play computer games. Uh, I think that's about it from this list. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's take a look at some of the words and translate them. Sure, yeah. Sure. Sure. Uh, because some of the words might not be familiar to our students. Yeah. Okay. What is DIY? Uh, there are three letters. Yeah. Uh, in the top left corner. 
Uh, what I is think it's uh, do it yourself, I uh -huh. guess. I guess. Yeah, right. Oh, so yeah, it's right. something oh. with yeah. handicrafts. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Okay. Um, pottery. It has something to do with the arts, I guess. Yes, this is a yeah. type of art. Yeah, when you yeah. create some pots yeah, with yeah, your hands yeah, and yeah, clay. What is clay? Uh, clay is like uh, like a cast, like you uh -huh. you can uh, make something. It's like uh, glina. Yeah, so, yeah, I, I, glina. And this is what so is you, pottery? So you can make plates, all yeah, this stuff. Yeah, right. Yeah. So that's that's pottery. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Okay. Um, and what is sewing? Uh, sewing is uh, what uh, usually women do, and mm -hmm. it's uh, sewing something, uh, some clothes maybe. Right. Yeah. What do you need to actually do sewing? Uh, that tiny iron thing uh, that has yeah, a thread. One, I don't remember. I, it's I, a needle. It's a needle. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> uh -huh. I thought it's it's different for sewing. A mm -hmm. needle is needle. It's just I, I a needle, needle is, is a needle. Okay, I thought needles for injections, but mm -hmm. a needle for sewing is. We different. have it the same in okay. Ukrainian, so. All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay, great, good, and um, yeah. the last one that we are going to stop on that's the word volunteering. What is uh, yeah. a vol what is volunteering? How can you explain this in your own words? Uh, well, volunteering is very. Uh, popular uh, in North America. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a kind of activity that people do uh, free of charge. They don't get paid for that. And right. uh, they just pretty much do something for the communities, for uh, other people, uh, just with the goodwill. Mm -hmm. Good. How do you call a person who actually does volunteering? Uh, volunteer. A volunteer, that's right. <laughs> Good. <pretty> simple. <laughs> yeah, it's very easy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, actually, when we take a look at the Cambridge Dictionary definition, uh, will you please read it aloud? Uh, a volunteer is a person uh, who does something, especially helping other people willingly and without being forced or paid to do it. Mm -hmm. So these people are not made to do it. Yeah, they are, yeah, do not they just, get it's money for their own. Uh, just uh, they just wish to do it. So mm -hmm. it's their own will. Yeah, they want to make something yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, they want to change something for the better. Okay, on the board we can also see some of the examples. Let's read them aloud. Uh, the health clinic is relying on relying on mm -hmm. volunteers to run the office and answer the phones. Good. Yeah, so since uh, it would be a highly dangerous mission, the lieutenant asked for volunteers. Mm -hmm. and, and the last one. It's a volunteer army with no paid professionals. Yeah, so these are the examples with the yeah. word volunteer. Okay, and now let's take a look at this picture. Um, do you recognize this young lady? Uh, do you know who she is? Yeah, I think she's, uh, her name is Greta. Thunberg, yeah. Thunberg, yeah. Good. Yeah, she's a young lady from Sweden. Mm -hmm. Who's uh, uh, she's actually a volunteer who's right. uh, uh, fighting for uh, environment, for saving the planet uh, from, and she's worried about uh, climate change. I guess. Yeah, right. So she's a climate change activist <laughs> yes. from Sweden. And why do you think her activity is important for the world and for the planet, for the people? I think because she's a young lady and uh, she's an example for uh, kids, for mm -hmm. uh, uh, teenagers, I would say, because she's 17 by now. Yeah. So uh, she's a good example uh, on uh, what to do and uh, what we can do and uh, for our mission, our uh, responsibility, what we can do uh, to help this uh, uh, environment uh, mission saving, I would say, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah. she's trying to make the world the better place and yeah. she makes people pay attention to the problems of ecology, climate change and so on. Yeah, Yeah. thank you very much. And it's good that she does it uh, in such a young age and I guess she mm -hmm. does it for uh, a few years by now, right? Yeah, she, oh, now we're going to find out oh, for right. how many years she's been yeah. doing this. I, I've read on BBC, I mm -hmm. think, uh, maybe a few years ago about her. 
when she just started and she made a big news mm -hmm. by doing what she did. Yeah, right. Okay, thank you very much. It was very informative. Very nice that you know uh, the facts <laughs> about Greta Thunberg. <laughs> now let's take a look at the text uh, about Greta. And uh, your task is to read it aloud, read it carefully. Uh, I read and listen. Uh, climate activist Greta Thunberg has been named Time Magazine's Person of the Year for 2019. Uh, the 16-year-old from Sweden beat New Zealand's Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern and the Hong Kong democracy protesters to win the award. Uh, Ms. Thunberg shot to fame in 2018 for raising people's awareness of the threat to the planet from climate change. Uh, she started a global movement when she decided to go on a climate strike outside of the Swedish parliament in August 2018. School children around the world then followed her example. She has since addressed the United Nations in New York and has met the Pope. Uh, after hearing about the award, she tweeted, Wow, this is unbelievable. I will share this great honor. Uh, Greta Thunberg is the youngest person ever to receive the award. Time magazine wrote about why it gave the prize to Ms. Thunberg. It said she has succeeded in creating a global attitudinal shift in getting millions of people to join a worldwide movement calling for urgent change. It added, Greta has offered a moral call to those who are willing to act and put the shame on those who are not. Not everyone is happy with uh, Ms. Thunberg receiving the award. Donald Trump Jr. said Time was using a teenager as a marketing gimmick. Uh, in contrast, Hillary Clinton tweeted, I'm grateful she's done to raise awareness of the climate crisis and her willingness to tell hard, motivating truth. Great job. Yeah. Okay, now that you have read the text, yeah, we have found out when exactly Greta Thunberg started her uh, activity. Yeah, okay. so it actually happened two years ago. Yeah. Okay, now uh, our task is to match the words from the text with their definitions. So here we have the 10 words to the left mm -hmm. and definitions, which are explanations, to the right. So let's take a look at the words, first of all, and then we will match them with the definitions. Mm -hmm. So uh, read the words from 1 to 10, please. Uh, democracy, protester, uh, awareness, shot, shift, urgent, gimmick, crisis, shame, movement. Good. Okay. And now <laughs> let's go definition by definition, one by one. and. Um, Let's read the first explanation. And by the way, are all the words uh, clear to you? Oh, yeah, sure. Okay, then it's <laughs> going to be easy for you to match them with the definitions. Yeah. Um, all right, let's read the definition, uh, the, the first definition. Yeah, uh, so A, right? Mm -hmm. A silly trick to attract attention, publicity, or business. Така, не дуже розумна вихідка, трюк. Uh, Для того, щоб привернути увагу публічність. Uh, it's, it's a gimmick. It's a gimmick, yeah. of course. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, do you remember what exactly was said in the text about gimmick? Uh, I think Donald Trump said that uh, mm -hmm. they use a teenager as a gimmick uh, for such a for such a thing, right? Right. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Very nice. Okay, let's go to definition B. Uh, knowledge or understanding about something. I think it will be awareness. Awareness, good. Yeah. So when we say that we know something, there yeah. is another way to say it. We say, I'm yeah, aware. I'm aware of it. Yeah. yeah. And knowledge is awareness. Yeah. Good. Let's go to the third definition. Um, uh, seriously needing immediate action or attention. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe urgent? Of course. Yeah. Sure, that's urgent. Good. The next definition. Uh, a change in position or thinking. So that will be shift. Of course. Yeah. That's the word shift. Good. Let's go to the uh, next one. A person who goes into the street to tell the government or other organization that they disagree with something. Uh, that's protester, of course. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Uh, 
Now F. F uh, moved. moved suddenly and quickly shot. Of course. Good job. All right. <laughs> yeah. It's nice that you've guessed it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. What about uh, G? Uh, G. Uh, a system of government where the people vote for their leaders. Uh, of course, that's democracy. That's democracy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good, it's good to have one. Yes. All right, uh, the next definition, it's uh, H. A time of great difficulty, trouble or danger. So uh, there will be, of course, crisis, yeah. Mm -hmm. that's, okay, that's, that's crisis. <laughs> Uh, a loss of respect or uh, esteem, dishonor. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a shame. That's shame. Uh, a group of people working together for their shared political, social or artistic ideas. And, and I guess it's hard to... <laughs> it's very hard. It's the most difficult part of this exercise. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like movement. Yeah, definitely. I'll try. That's the I'll moment. try to guess. <laughs> <laughs> and you've tried really well. Yeah, thank Good. you. Good. Okay, thank you very much. So, <clears throat> now that we have matched the words and the definitions, let's revise the text uh, content and let's revise the information that we have read uh, about Greta Thunberg. Yeah. So, we have to say whether the statements are true or false. Mm -hmm. So, T stands for true, F for false. Okay. Okay. Let's take a look at the first statement. Um, your task is to say whether, is it, whether it is true or false. Okay. Uh, if it is false, uh, it would be great if you say the example from the text, like if you correct the sentence. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good, let's try it. So, uh, Greta Thunberg beats New Zealand Prime Minister to get the prize. Uh, it's true. Mm -hmm. yeah, she did, okay. she actually did. She yeah, she actually beat New Zealand's Prime Minister to yeah. do it. Okay, what about the next one? Uh, Greta Thunberg became famous in 2017. That's false because she started her activity in 2018. Yeah, it was, I recall. that's right. Yeah. It was 2018, two years ago, when yeah. Greta first uh, came into public <laughs> with her uh, statements. Good. The third one. Uh, Greta Thunberg became famous after going on strike outside her school. It's, I, I think it's foolish to guess, so uh, I, I just okay, don't Okay, you don't it. remember. I just don't recall. It's yeah. okay. Yeah, actually this one is false because uh -huh. she went on a strike uh, outside the parliament, the Swedish parliament, yeah, not right. the school. That's why I don't that, remember it. <laughs> and that's why she actually was noticed by the government and by the people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good. All right, the fourth one. The Pope has met Greta Thunberg, that's true. Mm -hmm. that's true. And you were quite surprised with this fact. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. But that's a great honor, isn't it? Of course. Good. Yes. Let's go to the fifth one. Uh, Greta is the second youngest person to receive the Time Award. Uh, I think she was the first, so it's false. Okay, right, you are. Good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Time said that uh, Ms. Thunberg changed millions of people's minds. Uh, that's true? Of course it is true. Yeah, yeah she has got a great, a huge impact on yeah. them. Mm -hmm. uh, Donald Trump's son said giving Greta the prize was a gimmick. That's true? That he said that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Greta Thunberg said she's a Grateful to Hillary Clinton. Uh, no, that's false. Mm -hmm. uh, Why is it false? Because Hillary Clinton made mm -hmm. a statement that uh, she actually is doing a good job. That's right. Yeah, so yeah. it's vice versa. Yes, no, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Thank you very much. So now you know even more information about Greta. Yeah. yeah. Good. Okay, now it's yeah. time for a tiny comprehension check. So. In what year did Greta become famous? Uh, 2018. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Um, outside, what building did Greta go on strike? Uh, Swedish Parliament. Right, you are. The Swedish Parliament. <laughs> Good. The third one. What did Miss Thunberg say she would do with her price? Uh, I don't remember. Don't remember? No. Okay. Uh, did she say she would keep it to herself? I don't think so. <laughs> no, she actually said that she would share it share with it. other people. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Good. How many people younger than Greta have won the prize? Uh, none. 
she was the first one. She was the youngest one. Yeah. Good job. Okay. And the last one, who said Greta's price was a marketing gimmick? Uh, Trump Jr. <laughs> Trump Jr. That's right. Okay. Well done. <laughs> Good. Okay. So, and um, now let's take a look at the sentences from the text. Our task is to pay attention to the use of to plus verb and ing. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. So, here we have these words that we need to pay attention to. Okay. Highlighted, they are in bold. Your task is just to read the sentences, first mm -hmm. of all. Uh, she started a global movement when she decided to go on the climate strike outside the Swedish parliament in 2018. Uh, after hearing about the award, the, she tweeted, wow, this is unbelievable. I will share this great honor. Mm -hmm. uh, it said she has succeeded in creating a global attitudinal shift and getting millions of people to join a worldwide movement. Uh, I'm grateful for all she's done to raise awareness of the climate change. Good. Okay. Thank you very much. Now let's take a look at the words that are in bold. Yeah. So, do we have ing or two plus verb after the verb decide in number one? So after the verb decide, mm -hmm. we usually use two plus verb. Two decide plus verb. to do something. She decided to go, I decided verb to call. Verb is what? Uh, the word that actually stands for the action. Like go, ah, okay. run, swim, oh, jump, yeah, yeah. So, okay, when we okay. do so something. Here is two plus verb, I uh -huh. guess. Uh, this yeah, is a two yeah, plus yeah, verb. I understand. I understand. Okay, yeah. good. Number two. After uh, hearing. Yes. After hearing about the award, she tweeted, wow, this is unbelievable. I will share this great honor. I already so, read that, right? Yeah, you've already yeah. read that. Let's take a look at the first part of the sentence that is in bold. After hearing. Uh -huh. So after such words as after, before, of, in, at, out, they are uh -huh. called prepositions. Uh -huh. We usually have which uh, form of the verb? ing or to? Over here, ing is good. That's right, yeah. yeah. Okay, um, it is said she has succeeded in creating. So in the phrase succeeded in creating, we also have preposition, but it is now in. Yeah, mm -hmm. and after it, we have which form of the verb? Uh, ing. Ing, yeah. that's right. Okay, and then we once again have it after in, in the word getting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good, okay, and in number four, we have the phrase she's done to raise awareness. Yeah, so here is two plus verb. Mm -hmm, two plus yeah. verb, when we talk about something that we do for a reason. Yeah, yeah. I woke up to do something, do something. or yeah. I woke up early not to be late to work. Yeah, yeah? so we're talking about our purpose or reason. Yeah. Okay, good. Now let's take a look at the sentences here. Our task is to open the brackets and put the verbs into mm -hmm. the correct form. So here you can see uh, the word cloud to the right uh -huh. uh, with the verbs that are followed by ing. So after such words as enjoy, like, adore, mind, finish, we will use the word with ing, like enjoy doing something. Uh -huh. Finish doing something. Love reading, dislike jumping, avoid swimming, uh -huh. and so on. Okay, good. Let's start with the first one then. The first one doesn't make sense. I don't fancy going out tonight. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, it's actually the correct one, the correct form. I don't fancy going out tonight. What is fancy in this form? I don't want to. Fancy? Fancy. Mm -hmm. First time hearing it. Yeah, well, actually, that's a British phrase that oh, you really? use. Yeah, <laughs> that uh, you may use for saying that you would like to do something okay. or you would not like to do something. Okay. I fancy going to the cinema tonight oh, or right, I, right. Fanc I don't fancy going out today. Tonight, yeah. uh, that means I don't want to do that. I see, I see. Mm -hmm. yeah. In North America, I never heard it in 14 years. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure, because, because that's not American English, yeah, that's yeah, British yeah. English. I see. Okay. I see. That's good to know, see? Mm hmm. Uh, number two now. Uh, <clears throat> she avoided. Uh, she, avoided, she avoided telling him about her plans. Of course, that's right. So she avoided telling him about her plans. Yeah. The next one. 
Number three. Um, I'd like to come to the party. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. The fourth uh, one. He enjoys have uh, a bath in the evening. So how do you say that? Uh, he, he enjoys having a bath in mm -hmm. the evening. Right. After the verb enjoy, yeah, we will use ing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Number uh, five. She uh, kept. She kept talking during the film. Right. The next uh, sentence. Uh, uh, I am learning speak uh, English. I am learning to speak English. That's right. Yes. Yeah. We, we learn to do something. <laughs> yeah. We use to plus verb after yeah. learn. Good. Uh, do you mind to give me a hand? Do you mind to give me a hand? Yes. Oh, actually, that's a, com a very common mistake. All right. Yeah. Do you mind doing something? So, mind is followed by okay. ing. Do you mind right. doing something? <laughs> well, of course, you may hear in spoken English that people say that, do you mind to do something? Yeah. But grammatically correct, and for teenagers, for example, who are going to take their tests, right. uh, it's very important to know that mind doing something. All mm -hmm. right. Okay. Even, even if you ask a person, like in real time, do I like going out of the car? A girl asks a guy to give her a hand. She can. Yeah, do use you mind this, giving right? me a hand? All right. Yeah, that's uh -huh. good, actually. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, number eight, the last one. Uh, she helped me. Now, now I'm confused. Uh -huh. so <laughs> I want to use that is again. It, is it to carry? Carrying? Uh, uh, she helped me to carry my suitcases. Mm -hmm. of yeah, she helped me to, yeah, to carry my suitcases. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well done. Um, okay, so after the verb help, we can use to plus infinitive. Mm -hmm. So help somebody to do something. Yeah. Or actually, there is also, um, it's not a mistake to say help somebody do something without particle to. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. But basically, what we need to learn is that some verbs are followed by ing and some verbs are not. They are followed by to plus infinitive. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, actually, this is it for today. Oh, and really? uh, yeah, thank you very much for your work. Yeah. Uh, you're a very diligent uh, and intelligent student. Thank you very much. Okay, and now our students, our viewers need to have their homework. So let's take a look. They have to write a magazine article about Greta Thunberg deserving the award. Include imaginary interviews with people who are for and against this. Write approximately 15, 18 sentences. Okay, so this is it. Uh, we can hear the bell ringing, yeah? Oh, yeah. Uh, and the lesson is over. <laughs> Thank, Thank you very much. much. Yeah, very see nice. you next time. Goodbye. Thank you. Я всю жизнь учусь, поэтому для меня это не что-то новое, но вот очень было приятно принять участие вот в таком проекте для детей.